all right today is yet another beautiful day the lord has given unto you and i need you quite remember we'll be back about strong i don't know about possible multimedia and then they did can we need to channel this to youtube and say it and say me best also by the brain wash a video no i'm gonna query a social and i like what comment to subscribe we are not share content no and that's why i recommend the channel no i'm only been saying your videos maybe i have a we see for who names anytime any day be the issue more away for this now it just said yeah it's a good social media they can edit you know and be and I was song for Francis and Chuma done some numerous to call a call and you be not me to be a baby so most in a kaya last year 4th November and a NPP for a two or more presidential election now election a cause night competition we are very tight and my year at Kennedy or in a Japan a B and I know can say I will give you a showdown when and I know or refer to now or refer to Nana Ado any the current flag bearer of the NPP party Dr. Mahmoud Baumia now no net you know Looks like ne one same be brave about social media and personally on one casa wa ma bontin and baba responded by a nay wa ba bontin a baba casa a fa wongwa or fair or mu nam fwa or mu betray no. Secondly, ne life experience some of the challenges are or no as an individual who face ya nyan kupon e huni mombo e na be be do some pen pen so ya we do e wana brabo mo e ne e na chese o koko piye o koko piye mo e wo program bi a se ya na o de ye mfanto hon o de ono anka sa na brabo e ye example e de achi yu tu no e bu siya nse mo okan ye no anesi speaking se o ye nipe bi a o jin kwe e chiri a e ni de kwa yin so don't get me wrong e ni de kwa yin so don't get me wrong se uyo ni pe bi ya sebe sebe ojo nko e chea obe hun se papa no wa bre ye e na awa bedru be bia wadru sese e wa na bra bom no inti me pe se me kasa no be tenten na ni die kwan so ka me hun ne nko ji nse me mu nche mu ana se nko nko tie dia kennedy or hine japan e kan ye ni nse bi bi emfam fri mu midi e de francis achu aka possible me so e ne ni di di kan we ni atwa channel is you youtube ya be so so be jibre no hwe video no hwe ya na wa like wa comment wa subscribe we ya na wa share content no ya nko ni nko nko hwe video ni bi na bi bi che wa adwa na wa feel free na wa che wa adwa comment section no ase ni akopon insha yin na terrible things you went through becomes a lesson to you friends that you buy beer for them to drink when you get broke the things they will say about you all becomes a lesson that you would not want to get to that level again. And when you, began, you begin to think positively like that, trust me, you're going to succeed. And all those friends who were laughing at you, one day you invite them again. But you tell them to their face, you. I will tell you straight away, you know, whatever you said about me 10 years ago when I was broke, I know. But eat, drink, and go. But you have taught me a lesson. That is why I've succeeded. Ghana so life Info TV. Ghana Info is how you Ghana. make it. Nobody can do it for you. See, I always tell my children that I may be there one day, and when I'm dead and gone, because you did not go through the hardships I went through, you might not be able to sustain the wealth I've left behind. So I'm teaching them. I teach them the hard way. You make a mistake, you're out. One strike, you're out. Oh, fortunately for me, I have many children. So parable of the sower. Some will fall on the wayside. Others will germinate. Then you move on. I'm inculcating discipline into them. I don't want them to be solely headed like those kids who were driving their father's cars. Attention, please. This car is coming back. You know, my son is here. We went to Dubai. He used his own money to buy his second car. I said, good. Whilst my brother came to me and said, oh, this is your Mercedes that you are not using. Why don't you give it to your son? I said, you see, you are older than me, but I have to tell you, you are foolish. You are foolish. That is why all your children have not succeeded. I should give my S class to my son. When he graduated, honorable, the same school with you, that's where he did his master's. Well, I bought him a first car. And his second car, he has to work and buy it himself. My brother was telling me, oh, give him your Mercedes S500. I said, me? 
S500, I was carrying water 6 a.m. in the morning. And he got the first car. I mean, I wore shoe at the age of 16. 16, when I was going to secondary school. Even that, I had some severe beatings from my father. Because I didn't know he was going to London that time. And that time, you didn't need a visa. You only need money. And that poor teacher, I don't know, he didn't have money. He went and he was deported. So he, he brought his hunger <laughs> back to Kumasi. <laughs> and we were children of teachers. That time, all my friends, their parents have bought them shoes. So when you go to their house, then they'll go and bring the shoe. This is what my father bought me. That time, my father probably was in London Airport. Being Ghana deported. Info TV. I didn't Info know. Ghana. So when he came and I said, I want a shoe, I remember very well. Kumasi Home Stores. That was the first time they opened Kumasi Home Stores. He went there, we couldn't get the shoe. And I said, I won't go home. So they convinced me to go home in a week later. I had severe beatings and they took me to a my village. When my auntie saw the clothes I was wearing, he asked me, what's your problem? Ah, I can't take this. Straight, he put me in the train, sleeper, from Takradi to Accra, to my mother. When my mother saw me, she asked, what is wrong with you? She said, I want shoe. And she started crying. That's it. That's all. And there's a shop opposite her place, Sika Ufie. So he went there and bought me my first shoe when I was going to Adesado College. So now you, you finish university, you have your own car. You spoil the car, you want me to buy you another one. Wow, it won't happen. We went to Dubai, he came to me, oh, daddy, I bought a car. Now he's so chisel, he doesn't want to spend it. You see, he doesn't want to spend his money. First, at ease. Oh, daddy, then they'll be doing this. One day, he was arrested by the police. They called me from America. Hey, my father is Kenneth Japan, this and that. They called me. I said, huh, yes, let me talk to the police officer. The police officer explained to me. I said, I'll lock him up. <laughs> they lock him. My friend had to beg me for three hours. I said, no, I just turned off my phone. So I don't know how he got out. See, this is how this is how I train my kids. And now he's doing very well. You see, they have organized these beautiful things here. I say thank you to Kenneth and Safo and Oman FM, Kent City Media. You guys have done very well. So youth, in this country, we are rich. We can be, he was 28. He asked me, are you an African? I said, yes. Where are you from? Ghana. What work do you do? I said, I drive taxi. And we are buying this house? I said, yes. That is 28. My house was just next to Jennifer Lopez's parents. That was 622. They were in 622 Commonwealth Avenue, and I was in 624 Commonwealth Avenue. It went on and on and on. Here we are today. So, Ghana, that poor info, boy, TV, they were info, calling the phone Ghana. when I... I raised my hands to answer questions. All the students would turn and look at me because I was the tallest and the oldest. I went to school at the uh, secondary school at the age of 16, whilst got the sons and the rest were age 10 and 11. So when I raised my hands to answer a question, they were all turn. Kwame Japan, Anu Blofu Chebe. You know, uh, today, they are proud of me. My classmates are really proud of me. And I thank them for that. <laughs> so, Kwame Japan, a foam, a nublofu cheme. Look at the people here. Just paying attention just to listen to me. Trust me, you can do it and do it better. It's just determination. You have to think big, dream big, talk big. Because in our society, 
when you dream big, your friends will tell you, oh, this guy, he's too new. He talks too big. He can't do it. Never keep, I'm giving you my strategy. Never keep things to yourself. Tell the deputy minister sitting here that I, Kenne Japan, I'm going to build a 45 bedroom house and read my lips. I'll build it. But the moment you tell her, if you are not able to do it, you have failed. So by telling her or telling a second person becomes a challenge to you and you have to fulfill all the things that you have said that you're going to do it. So tell somebody that one day I will be somebody and you will be somebody if you are determined. Say after me, one day, one day, I will be somebody. I will be somebody. Tell your friend, one day, one day, I will be somebody. And you will. You will. Don't give up in life at all. Whatever challenges you are going through today, turn all your negatives to be positive by enduring the challenges and standing up to the challenges. It is not going to be smooth. Life, what I call life and success is like multitudinous in Cardinal. Multitudinous in Canada. It's like waves. It goes up and it comes down and it goes up. If you go up and come down, you better get up, boy. If you don't get up, that's the end of you. But when you get down, it's the experience. When you get up again, you don't want to come down because when you were there,